Hi guys, the topic of this video is camber and the road discontinuities. Contents will be camber stiffness coefficient, road camber, a radial and cross ply tires, and finally summary. Here I have a quiz for you. Uh, what is the correct description about the camber stiffness coefficient? A camber stiffness coefficient of a cross ply tire is bigger than that of radial tire. Camber stiffness coefficient of radial ply tire is bigger than that of cross ply tire. I took this picture uh, from the previous video E0206 to develop the camber stiffness coefficient. I hope you can uh, remember uh, the camber stiffness explained in the uh, previous video. A camber stiffness coefficient is simply camber stiffness divided by tire road F sub C and of which unit is per radian. Generally speaking, camber stiffness for radial passenger car tire is about 40 to 50 percent lesser than that of bias ply tire. I will explain this value uh, later in this video. Sometimes we met the road discontinuities along the direction of a travel, uh, like in this picture. Uh, for example, faulting rut, groove, and the shoulder drop off, etc. In this situation, a uh, camber stiffness coefficient is getting more important. Uh, let's think about the camber of the road discontinuities uh, for the front left tire in the rear view. Uh, this picture describes the cross section of a road to a groove along the road. Uh, the value of the camber stiffness is important in the road discontinuities along the road having a transversal slope uh, while the vertically loaded tire uh, maintains its mid-plane to meet uh, that slope of a uh, rut surface. In the case described in this picture, the beaker wheel has a negative camber angle gamma. In the side wall of a rut, uh, there are two types of forces are laterally acting on the tire. The component of a tire load Fz sin gamma is directed downhill and the camber thrust F sub y gamma is directed uphill. Two forces can be expressed in, in the equation 5. If you divide uh, both sides by F sub z gamma, uh, you can get the equation 6 considering sine gamma is equal to gamma for a small angle. Uh, the direction of that resultant force can be one direction or uh, the other, uh, depending on the magnitude of the camber stiffness coefficient. If the camber stiffness coefficient is greater than 1, a tire will go uphill. If it is lesser than 1, tire will go downhill. Uh, the average value of this coefficient is 1.2 per radian in the case of cross ply tire and 0.6 per radian in the case of radial ply tire. Uh, therefore, cross ply tires easily get out of the rut, but the radial tires get down to the bottom of the rut. As mentioned in the previous slide, camber stiffness coefficients are different uh, depending on tire types. Its unit is per radian. Its value is 0.6 for radial ply tire and 1.2 for cross ply tire. Camber stiffness uh, goes different depending on tire structures. Uh, radial tires usually produce a lesser camber thrust and the moments than those of cross-ply ones. 
uh, because uh, radial tires have a flexible wall compared with uh, those of cross ply ones. Uh, this is the pictorial description of uh, two tire types. Cross ply tires can easily get out of the road discontinuities, but radial, radial ply tires can't. Recently, heavy duty vehicles with radial tires are increasing uh, for strong road grip, soft ride, good fuel consumption, uh, greater stability, and less wear and tear, but on the road maintenance point of view, they make the depth of the rut or groove deeper. The radial ply tires have to run on the bottom of a groove because it cannot get out of the rut uh, due to their small camber stiffness coefficient. Therefore, the bottom of a rut intensively experiences the radial tire context of heavy duty vehicles, so the depth goes deeper and deeper. On the other hand, cross ply tires don't much damage the road compared with radial ply tires because they can easily get out of the rut. The answer to the quiz is camber stiffness coefficient of cross ply tire is bigger than that of a radial tire. Here we have summary. The camber stiffness coefficient is defined as the camber stiffness divided by tire road. Cross ply tires are easily get out of the rut, but radial tires are the opposite. A depth of the rut or the groove gets deeper if heavy duty trucks with radial ply tires outnumber those with cross ply tires. If you watch the previous videos, you can easily understand upcoming videos. In the previous video, E0025, I explained the mechanism producing the camber thrust. Recently, I explained the camber moment produced by camber arm and the camber trail related to the normal and the shear stress distributions of the tire contact patch. The next upcoming video is tire side slip 12. I will explain tire conicity and the ply steer. You can catch the brand new videos by free subscription. So, what are you waiting for? See you next video. Goodbye guys.